passionate investor always make money in stock markets you will never fail in any work if you do it with passion these inspiring quotes by mr rakesh junjunwala in this warren buffett are famously called the big bull rj the big bull is no more he ruled the indian stock market for decades making intelligent investment choices to build an empire of stock holdings worth over 40000 crores he was india's 36 richest person and richer than 99.99% of the planet's population he was popularly referred to as the big bull of india and the king of bull market and was widely known for his stock market predictions and bullish outlooks rj journey from rupees 5000 to 5.5 billion is inspiring he is no more but his life is an inspiration to young investors his 37 years of stock market journey proves famous bill gates quotes if you born poor it's not your fault but if you die poor it's your fault so he died rich with an estimated net worth of around 5.8 billion was the 36 richest billionaire in india according to forbes a self-made trader investor and businessman india's own warren buffett was the son of an income tax officer born in 5th july 1960 hyderabad andhra pradesh now it is in telangana the chartered accountant who graduated from mumbai's sidenam college briefly toyed with the idea of becoming a journalist or a pilot although he had dabbled with being a columnist and also launched the airline akasha air this year RJ was introduced to the stock market when he was very young at the age of 15 when he used to listen to his father talking about it it captured his curiosity and he studied stock price movements through the newspaper articles and by quizzing his father he read every annual report he could lay his hands on after his graduation and clearing his chartered accountancy examination he decided to accept the challenge of making a career by investing and trading in stocks and since then he has held this formula close rj investment journey started in 1985 sensex was at 150 at that time now it is reached to 60000 interest in stock markets arose when he observed his father discussing the market with his friends while his father guided him on the markets he never gave him money to invest and forbade him from asking friends for money With his savings at hand, Rakesh started investing early when in college, beginning with 5000 capital in 1985. The first big profit of Rakesh Junjunwala was 5 lakh in 1986 when he bought 5000 shares of Tata Tea at rupees 43 and within 3 months it was trading at 143. He made a profit of over 3 times by selling the stocks of Tata Tea. Then there was no looking back. Between the years 1986 and 1989 he made 20 to 25 lakhs from his investment at the Dalal Street. His next big investment was Sisa Goa which he initially bought at 28 and then increased his investment at 35 soon. The stock rallied to 65. In 2002-3 Rakesh Junjunwala bought Titan shares at an average price of rupees 3 and currently it is trading at the price of over 2472 he held over 4.4 crore shares of titan company he has an overall holding of 5.1% in the company as of june 2022 and is worth a opening and a 11000 crore delivering 83250% return to its investor during these two decades In 2013 RJ bought 6 of the 12 units of Ridgeway Apartments at Malabar Hill from Standard Chartered Bank for rupees 176 crore later in 2017 he bought other 6 apartments in the building from HSBC Bank for rupees 195 crores in 2021 he commenced the construction of his new 70000 square feet 13 story home after the demolition of the old building next plans were the way forward rj plans to give away 5000 crores in 2025 and thereafter 2% of his portfolio every year till he reaches 25000 crores for focus on nutrition surgery for children with heart problem and sport academy although he is richest billionaire of india 
he recalls his old memories every saturday we would go and we would spend 15 rupees of our unspent conveyance today even if i have a whiskey a bottle which cost rupees 40000 it doesn't give me the pleasure that chicken center used to give he once said while recounting the tale in 2014 his last public appearance was at the launch of low cost airline akasha air in which junjunwala was a promoter a few days ago the legendary investor had not been keeping well for the last few months and was looking frail in a wheelchair at the public event a lot of people question why rj started an airline rather than answering them he said i am prepared for failure rj passed away today at the age of 62 in mumbai following a cardiac arrest he was suffering from multiple health problems related to heart diabetes and kidney according to sources The India's big bull RJ is no more but his strategy still remains with us. Number 1 RJ understood investing was not just about getting the math right it was actually a lot more of an art. The prediction of EPS is mainly science and partly art but prediction of PER is an art with very little science. It is a chemistry that can be mastered only by experience. His strategy number 2 while trying to predict the company's profit he considers the demand or the market of the product service the ability of the company to deliver it at the lowest price to widest customer base its strength is operating leverage its scalability and integrity of the company the third point passionate investor always make money in stock market he will never be fail if any work if he do it passion as rj used to do number 4 rj pumped in his trading profits into investment bets and became increasingly famous as the warren buffett of india because of some of greatest investment made by singular individual on these shores long live rj the big bull